Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today is 14 Shaban. I wish entire world get blessing from Allah. Today is the day. It's like be pure from your heart, be pure from your soul. Today is the day when Allah will close your old books and start a new book. The old book means which is there on your right hand and in your left hand. Whatever you do entire of your life. This is the main thing. Nothing is important in life. Important you, your heart, your near, your soul. Whatever you do, you will pay for it. I know in this world we come, we have family, we have friends, a lot of things, a lot of part of our life. But the important is we. If our important only you your soul your heart your near if you are okay you can be good with your family you can be good with entire world but if your heart your mind not okay you cannot do anything as i say the book on your right hand side and in your left hand side the malaika the angel they will write for you whatever you do good whatever you do bad when you die you have to answer Allah no one else so try to be good first yourself and do for everyone the same thing no matter what other do leave it on Allah the world is very small people think it's very big no whatever you do you have to be in this world. A lot of people have a wrong information or wrong in their mind. 14 Shaban is for party or family get together or friends get together. No, my dear, 14 Shaban, it's the biggest night. The night of your soul. Allah see what you're going to do tonight. Are you praying? Are you sleeping? Are you enjoying? Are you party out? This is your life. First, it's your life. Whatever you do, you will get it. Then you can keep your surrounding happy. But if you are on a wrong track, you not do whatever good for you, how you keep your surrounding happy. So first make yourself clean, your soul clean, your mind clean. Delete everything, whatever the past, whatever the present. And even if you're thinking for future, delete everything, make a new start. Make the things which delete everything, everything from your mind, from your soul, bad, negative, even sometimes the good thing. Don't keep a lot of things here or here. Keep the thing which is really mean to it. Life is very tiny, very small. Yeah, people think it's very bad. No, do the good and it will come back to you. Don't say, I have done entire my life good and nothing happened to me. No. Maybe you have done entire life good thing and maybe the thing's gone wrong with you. Wait for the right thing. Trust me. Allah planning is better than what you think, what you plan. I have seen in my entire life, a lot of people do good thing and they suffer with a lot of bad thing. This is the test from Allah. I mean delete everything which is negative, which is hurting you in your past, in your present. Delete it. Nothing is important. Delete means not only the bad memories or pain or heartbroken. Delete means even your surrounding. If your surrounding is not good, it's not taking you to the right way. No need that surrounding. Don't run for the thing. Don't think this friend will make me in a higher position or this friend will be get me a good uh, networking. No. Whatever will be happen, if Allah wish. Even if you surround a lot of millionaire, if Allah doesn't want, you will not gain what exactly you want. So make sure who's your surrounding. Trust me. If you keep your surrounding, okay your heart will okay your soul okay for me a lot of people 
see and ask me. It's not easy to delete or forget from the heart or forget from the mind. But answer me. If you keep here or if you keep here, what you will gain? You are the first one who is hurting your heart, who is hurting your brain. You will start get headache. You will start get your body pain. You are the one who is losing the happiness of life. None of them. The person who want to hurt you, they hurt you. They left already. But if you keep keeping in your heart and mind the same thing and continue entire your life, you are the one who's going to suffer. So why? Forget it. Forgive it. Leave your life. We have a life once. Enjoy your life. If you decide it, nothing is impossible in this world. Leave your life. It's your life. You have full 100% rights. To live your life the way you want. Don't say what people will think or what people will say. Do whatever make you happy. Dress what make you happy. Go out with your friends which you feel your surrounding is okay. Don't care for the people what people will say or what a family member will say. It's your life. Live your life in your way. You have full right to decide what is good and what is bad for you. Choose your life very important let's talk about it i'm making this video the reason is ramzan is coming which i already spoke in my last video prepare for it buying clothes making new dress new abayas make a plan whole ramazan where is restaurant i will go what i will do make a list which mosque i will pray where I will sit and get a chance to read and finish my Quran. How many Qurans I'm going to finish. How pure I will be with my family and my neighbors and my loved one. This is important. As soon as Ramzan is coming, a month before people start buying new dresses, abayas, groceries, crockeries, renovating home. Dear renovate yourself clean your soul ramzan is coming to be close to allah ramazan is a time where you have a chance to be with your family member get together with them or with your friends or loved one read quran pray your salah on time be closer to allah as much as you come this is mean ramazan not every night sit in a majlis or open a fast in a big restaurant. No. Allah wants you to be closer to Him as much as you can. Ramazan is a very pure, pure month where not in your mind or in your heart or in your soul, your whole body, whole body change. Why Allah say you that fasting is first priority that you should do it in Ramazan as a Muslim reason is you feel it when whole day you are hungry you feel it the water is important the food is important for the whole day so imagine the people who doesn't have a food or doesn't afford to drink water or don't have a water or don't have a house or don't have a family that's why Allah gave this Ramazan entire whole year only one month when you do this you feel it you feel for other i heard from a lot of people they say oh we're going to keep full ramazan fasting we're going to do this we're going to go to this restaurant we're going to open a fast here for what yes ramazan is the time you enjoy from your heart your feelings you want to go to the restaurant to eat but not every day or not every day Ramazan parties. This is not the Allah want. Allah allowed you to enjoy your life which you are doing entire whole year. One month you have a chance to be closer to Him. Be closer to Him. Keep your soul clean.
and maybe after the ramazan you get used to it to keep entire your year like that way fasting is not for your loved one or somebody else in this entire world fasting means we fast for allah we pray five time only for allah we open our quran we read from our heart from our soul only for allah please him when you please him you will see the glow on your face you will see your heart your soul is happy your mind is relaxed you can sleep well in the night but if your mouth is big running after in a wrong surrounding and you think you will become rich famous your face glow you have money you can go to any clinic and make glow on your face trust me it take a second in a second what allah do nobody knows allah doesn't need us we human need him every second every minute of our life please him beg your hand in front of him cry in front of him not the wall and see the different in your life in my first video i have talked about surah bagra where somebody have told me talk more about surah bagra i have told in my that video and even other videos i have seen not this much i cannot imagine how much different comes in my life when i start reading surah bagra and i see a lot of time in my every video that i born as a muslim but still i was very lazy to read quran i was praying but always doing qaza because i'm in a walk i am in a okay as i say when i start reading surah bagra almost now more than 5 years and i've seen the different in my life and from last three years i was start memorizing the quran i see lot of different in my life and i see i have finished my quran when i was young very young but i used to read quran mostly in ramazan daily i used to read only surah yasin or surah rahman i never used to read surah bakra before I always depend on my family member to read and blow on the water or blow on me when they finish the surah bakra but as my personal I never used to do it since I do it myself I've seen a lot of changes in my life a miracle in my life I'm reading daily surah bakra it's very easy trust me when you keep reading 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 it's become very easy for you In the starting, it was very difficult for me when I was reading Surah Bakra. Even now, it's almost five to six years now. Sometimes, sometimes, when I open to read it, suddenly I feel like sleeping, like I have not slept from three four days, like this. But I force myself to complete it. I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to sleep. I close my eyes, wait for one second, and I ask Allah, please give me so much strength that I finish my Surah Bakr. And Alhamdulillah, I finish it. But so many time, it's happening with me. I don't know it's happened with other people or no. If it's happened with other people, do write for me a comments. It happened with me. I feel like so much sleepy, but when I complete it, I feel very fresh. I'm reading daily, as I say. Other, I read very early morning or I read in the evening. before go to the bed also i say like a uh, very important thing i read a musbah min tasbir i read tasbir after every each prayers of mine and also sometime like i'm sitting or i'm doing nothing i just read like around 500 tasbir musbah anything whatever you feel like to read okay but i want to share something very important like see as i say i only share the things which i feel it and i have done it and i'm sure about it as a muslim we always pray and make niya in our heart that when we die our last word in our mouth will be la ilaha illallah okay but if you make a habit of it every prayer after 
five prayers in a whole day every after prayers if you read one whole musba of 100 or 500 as you wish la ilaha after every each prayer that means we pray for five times as soon as you finish don't get up from your sajada you can say janamaz you can say sajada anything don't get up continue with your tasbih musba other you can read 100 time you can read 500 time 1000 as you wish if you read la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah trust me the life will be changed imagine we always wish as a muslim when we die our last word will be la ilaha illallah so imagine after each prayer you going to read this whole musba because nobody knows which moment which time will be our last moment so if you read this see the different in your life make a habit even when i'm going to sleep i decided khalas i want to sleep sometime i'm really very tired no energy maybe i'm in the house or i came from out and i just shower and i just want to be sleep i make sure at least one tasbih one musba of 100 I read and I sleep. Even I'm lying down and I read La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah and I sleep because you never know when is your last moment. Nobody knows. You are in a house, you are outside anywhere. You can even read when you are driving your car instead of listening a music. Yeah, I'm not saying that I don't listen the music. Yes, I do listen the music. I'm not like completely not touch the tv or not touch the music yes i do but i make sure sometime i read sometime i listen and this all the thing i'm not saying for someone else to follow it it's your life your wishes i'm saying this because someone's asked me what is the reason behind my happiness i'm sharing with you as i say in all my video don't do if someone is telling you to do it like as i me if you listen my video or you have seen me in instagram or youtube or snap anywhere and i'm saying all this joke and you follow me no you gone to school or you not gone to school you are educated or not educated but you have this right you have little or you have more this feel it is it good for you to what is it good for you to be keep your heart and mind only for your allah do it follow this way if you don't feel it don't follow anybody from social media if they say pray five times or fasting or reading quran no do from your heart from your soul in my daily life i meet a lot of people i go out or i'm at home i'm on the zoom any nationality okay other they are muslim non muslim christians hindu anybody anybody everybody prays right my video is for muslim yes i do say but even non muslim people who watch this video maybe they understand maybe they not understand my reason is to say any religion you follow follow from your heart follow from your soul keep your heart and mind to your god listen to your god only don't listen to the social media or your family or your friend do like this you will gain it or do good you will gain it no everybody have a god right he's the only one who gave us this life listen to him i want to share something okay i watch lot of people videos on a youtube or instagrams and stuff like that it's not that i'm following them or i'm chasing them is that sometime you you yourself learn something good and bad if they do good you learn a good thing if they do bad you learn it no i should never do like this even allah will get angry and this world what they think you know so i watch everybody it's not to follow them or you know like to chasing them I heard somebody say this word 
I want to fast. I want to pray. I want to go for Umrah. I want to do this. Excuse me. Want to do something? Do from your heart and only for Allah. When you keep your this head and such the think you are doing this you will fast you will pray you will put this head on a sajda only for allah nobody is important in this world so be careful when you open your mouth what you are saying it we are muslim we are muslim only for allah we pray for allah we read quran for allah we fast for allah we go umrah or hajj only for allah not for any human and if your heart it soul is clean make a niya trust me as my as i told my last video you make a niya you can go for umrah if you have mahram or no have you have father or brother or husband or no if your niya is clean your heart is clean trust me as i say in my last video you can watch it you can go in a group for umrah when allah will call you ask from allah trust me i have done this mistake before i used to cry i don't have a mahram how i will go for umrah or how i go for hajj you know no matter i have seven brothers three sisters i don't have father and mother i used to still cry how i go for umrah how i'm going to go for hajj if your heart and niya is so clean cry to in front of allah he is the one who will call you you have money or you don't have money it doesn't make any different you have billion you cannot go and you don't have one dirham trust me your niya and your heart soul is clean you will find yourself in makkah doing an umrah or doing a hajj make a niya or ask only from allah don't beg in front of yes it's written that you need a mahram to go there okay why because that's a place it's too crowded lot of men are there you need someone who protect you but what about the people who's very old they don't have father mother how they go they go in a group either they are young or they are old they go in a group i don't know about sorry uh other nationality or other country what is the role but i know what is the uae role which i'm sharing with you also you need mahram to go there but if you don't have a mahram and you don't have a father mother and you have a brother but they are not going with you you can still go in a group or you can go with friends of your girls or your relative ladies a group of ladies you can you know ramazan is coming still we have 15 days now prepare yourself just to be with allah you can fast you can relax you can make food for your family your loved one because that's the time you can spend your quality time with your family quality time with allah in a mosque or at home you can read your tarawih you can read as much as quran and musba plan for this don't plan which dress i'm going to wear or which hotel or which restaurant i'm going to eat which party is the best party for sahur or for iftar watch and remember one thing nobody know what will be the next moment if people learn from 2020 they are very smart the people who don't understand prepare yourself what is good for you don't think if in ramazan if i don't go for this sahur party or iftar party or my family member and i'm going to miss my tarawih and i'm going to miss my fasting my dear when you die you will go in a grave which is made for you not even 1 inch extra you will get a, in your grave everybody have a same grave and everybody go in a same soil and same white dress that means kafan 
nobody will get diamonds on their coffin or nobody will get red yellow or coloring coffin it will be only white same magbara same soil same everything same place so watch and think what you are doing i remember when i was small my mom always used to tell me that 14 shaban it's a very big night if you pray whole night entire night and ask from allah from your heart sure you will get it whatever you wanted but always remember sometime we ask from allah maybe allah give us in the same time next day next moment next month this month sometime it take years for me it's happened for me everything what i want maybe i get in a second in a minute something i get it even after 5 years and now i realize that whatever is happen happen for me the best 14 shaban means i'm not 100% sure about it but my mom used to tell me pray whole night until before fajr fajr azan the allah will come from the seventh sky to the first sky and he listen to your prayers he see who's praying for me who's sleeping or is enjoying who's but it doesn't mean like i mean to say like if you're parking out or you know you're enjoying or you're sleeping allah will not fulfill your wish it's between you and allah everybody have a different life if you pray from your heart trust me allah will bless you if you don't pray on 14 even if you make niya and pray tahajjud every night whenever you have a chance either you get up middle of the night and pray or you can make even niya and before sleeping you can read tahajjud and sleep my life rule is when i sleep in the night i switch off all the phones someone who's closer to me or my family member they know my house number which is in my room they call me on that if if it's 100% very important otherwise my rule is before sleeping i switch off all the phones even the net and only it get on fajr time fajr azan when i get up and sometime middle of the night i get up and i read my tahajjud or sometime if it's already late i make a niya i read tahajjud and i sleep or sometime before the fajr prayer one hour i get up i read my tahajjud my quran i read my fajr prayer and if i have to go work morning then i go out if i don't have to i have still time i relax for some time this is my lifestyle many people ask me how you get up daily in the fajr prayer i get up daily in the fajr prayer the reason is i want to be closer to allah i want to start my morning start my day which is the first thing is fajr prayer and i sleep early sometime it's happen we are human you cannot like you know follow like a rules or like time table in your life no sometime it's happen even i'm on the bed and i'm not able to sleep until fajr prayer what i do i get up i start reading my tahajjud i start reading my quran and fajr things which i used to pray and then it's happen fajr i pray my fajr and then i try to sleep we are human it's not happen like every night we sleep on time and get a fajr prayer early but i try my best not to miss the fajr prayer i want to say like uh, what i do in ramazan alhamdulillah before coming ramazan no idea but entire my life in ramazan mostly we don't sleep in the night because work timing is change some time like head pain or really body is tired after finish tarawih and finish the reading quran i sleep until sahur but usually in ramazan we didn't sleep like whole family get together until sahur time but all family together it doesn't means like watching movies or partying and stuff like no i don't like it or gossiping i like it to be read my musba or read my quran or even if i'm sitting with the family talk something good about religions something you know more learn more about religion good i never gossip 
Oh, I don't like to be in a surrounding where people sit and do gossiping. I don't go in the neighbor for gossiping or chit chatting. Yes, I do go to neighbor if something really important. They have wedding or parties or something get together. Otherwise, I don't like it. I like to be alone a lot. I like my own self. I like to surround myself in a people where they teach me a good things. <laughs> to be closer to Allah not to gossip about other other people no I'm not interested in that my lifestyle is very different as I told in my old videos yes I go watch movies I go out with friends I do parties party means like a birthday party or weddings or stuff like that but I don't like to go a shisha place I don't like to go in a nightclub or something I've never been there and I wish until all my life until I alive I don't want to see that places in my life I always say in all my video, nobody is perfect. Nobody born as a hundred percent perfect. Either they are women, men, teenager, kids, anybody. They all do mistake. They all like lies, do good and bad thing, hurt people. Either they are men or women. Nobody is perfect. Myself also, I was not hundred percent perfect. I was not hundred percent perfect. Till today, I feel myself, I'm not 100% perfect. 100% perfect means um, don't use too much social media or don't watch movies or don't listen music and a uh, lot of things, makeup, a lot of, lot of religious things. So in that part, I don't feel 100% perfect myself. But as a good heart soul, yes, I'm 100% perfect. I never tried entire my life to hurt someone. If somebody say that you never broke someone heart or you never hurt someone or you never fight with someone, you never get angry. Yes, I get angry. I'm a very hot temper. Okay. I never abused person. But if someone hurt me, yes, I answer them back. And I clarify the things. But it doesn't mean I want to be fight with them. I never ever till today. I feel proud myself that I have never stolen someone's property. Property means it's not only the house or money or gold. Property means someone else friend you steal it or someone else love you steal it. Also called as a property. I never make a friend who is already someone else friend. And I tell them, no, you have to be my friend and you broke the relation from them. No, I don't like this. I never spoke to any of my friend's brother, which is my role. I never like it. A lot of people propose me. If they are married on the same moment, I tell them, please, please, I do respect you. I cannot call you a brother because I have my own brother. And I don't believe in other men call as a brother and I cannot keep a relationship even I cannot talk with you because you are married but you have any work from me 100% I'm there for you to help you if there is a situation or there will be a billionaire and if he's married or he is someone else boyfriend sorry doesn't make for me any different no chance for entry why i believe breaking someone's heart or breaking someone's family you cannot be happy even it's the same rule follow as your best friends in your school in your college or in your work wise or in your social surrounding two best friend and you broke them and you want them to be a your friend it's very wrong never ever do this Nobody watch, but Allah watch. What you do, you will get it back. Okay, let's talk about it. The people who send me message and ask me the answer. They start reading Surah Bakra daily or some of them have start once a week and they see never change anything in their life. The situation is same. They are facing a lot of problems still. So my answer is, I don't come there at your place and see how you're reading your Quran. You yourself can judge yourself. Are you doing the right or wrong? When you're reading your Quran, is it your mobile is such off? 
Is it all your family member and everybody is away from you? When you're reading your Quran, you're not talking to anyone. Because I say million times in all my video, when you read your Quran as for five minutes, ten minutes, one hour, two hour, read full with you. Read from your mind, from your heart, from your soul. Switch off everything, your mobile. Everything means everything. Even your family member. Be alone, either on your bed, your living room, or a separate room, or in your sajada, anywhere, wherever you want to sit. Sit quiet. Delete everything. Means your mobile, your family member, everyone, any negative thing in your mind. Close down everything. Delete everything, whatever, whichever language you understand. Open your Quran. Start the Surah Bakra until the Surah Bakra finish. Don't talk to anybody, no matter whatever happen, until you finish it. Some people finish in half an hour, one hour or two hour. Don't talk until you finish it. Do it from your heart and soul and then see the difference. In between, but if you are reading and in between you are talking or you are thinking for someone else, your heart is somewhere else, your mind is somewhere else and you say you are reading Surah Bakra, nothing is happening, you don't see any change in your life, your life is same, that means don't ever try to blame the Quran or Allah, blame yourself, see where you are doing a mistake why allah is not listening to you why you not feel peace of mind or happiness in your life if you are not straight means when you're giving half an hour or one hour to allah and reading your quran read from your heart read from your mind read from your soul with your voice without thinking for anyone else keep like imagine you are in front of allah and reading a Quran from your heart, from your soul. Reading a Quran means without talking anyone from your heart, from your soul. And not only Surah Bakra, whenever you are reading a Quran, read from your heart. You sit for a five minute, as I say half an hour, one hour, two hour. Close down everything. Just focus in your Quran and Allah. Whenever you're reading a prayer, your salah, or you're reading your musbah, your tasbih, only focus Allah. Don't focus hundred thing and you say like, oh, finish, I finish one thousand musbah, or I finish hundred time musbah, and it's okay. No, whatever you do, do from your heart, do from your soul. Keep your heart and mind closer to Allah and then read it. Even if you read for 5 minutes daily, you open your Quran for 5 to 10 minutes, but from your heart, you will see the difference in your life. Every each prayer, after the prayer, you read your musbah from your heart and soul, keep your mind. Even after your 5 prayers, when you sit 5 minutes on your sajada and pray from your heart to Allah, He will listen to you. When you pray your five time also, it take only one minute, two minute or five minutes. Depend how fast you pray, how slowly you pray, depend on your body, your energy. Okay, it takes somebody two minutes, somebody five minutes, sometimes some people, old people, take little more time. Pray from your heart. Don't do hurry. Don't say like, I have to go my work, I have to finish my prayer and I have to run. Or I am out, I have to finish in two minutes and I have to run. No. Pray from your heart, otherwise don't pray it. Allah don't need you. You need Allah. Okay, I've already made uh, so far 10 videos. In my each videos, I have talked about prayer, salah, musbah, Quran, surah bakra. Somebody asked me, like whenever they listen my video, they heard about surah Wattuha, which is surah number 93. I cannot say it how I feel when I read what the world or I cannot explain you the miracle I have seen in my life when I reading so what the world what the world in a Quran Surah number 93 in whole Quran there is 
114 Sura I'm a person when I listen or I feel it I watch in a TV or YouTube or social media I don't do immediately the things I research I research I research about it but more than the research it's your heart your feelings your soul sometimes feel it I'll tell you the miracle of my life uh something suddenly happened with me and i don't know i'm like lost i don't know what to do and i was out i don't have a quran that time in my hand but in my mobile in iphone there is an app muslim pro which is can use without internet remember that whole quran is there you can read it in any language whatever language you know it and it doesn't need internet it need only internet when you download once you download you don't need an internet okay in muslim pro you will find many language quran it's need a setting whatever language you know that you can set on it and you can read quran on that anywhere you are i got an habit like if i'm in a outside in a work restaurant or like sometime in driving or i wait in a parking or you know some appointments and i have to wait like half an hour one hour sometime i have to wait for two hour what i will do i don't scroll down videos and watch other people no i start reading my sura or i start reading a musba in that muslim pro app if you see it you write in a app store if you have a google phone I mean, sorry if you have any samsung or any brand phone or apple every phone you can download because i have seen this i've told many people and they have done and you can read quran anywhere you want it wherever you are sitting it it should be your near clean okay i will continue like suddenly something happened and i start open my mobile and i read three times what to her surah what to her which is number 93 trust me i finish one time finish two time and finish three time you know it's so small one time it take you only a minute or second so i finish three time less than 5 minute and after that within a 10 minute i see the miracle trust me i cannot see like everybody will feel it same way which i feel it maybe you read 10 time you can read 100 time as much as you can maybe you will see the answer same time maybe you will see the answer next day but you will see the answer and it become like an habit like for me now uh many time it's happened when i'm in my class uh memorizing quran suddenly i sit there and i practice for one hour my quran and when my turn come to go front of the teacher and read it i'm blank other i'm feeling sleepy or when i open my mouth i forget my whole sura i ask my teacher give me only 2 minute i close my eyes and i start reading what to her and i ask allah please help me please help me to remember my quran and trust me i can so we are human it's happen with everyone for me i believe what duha give me more power more energy maybe for you some other sura try it there is nothing wrong to try it and this is the way you will go more that is the reason anything i start i read so uh, what duha also i have search in youtube many time you know meaning of what duha many big scholar many many big a bigger scholar when they talk about sura what duha trust me your heart suddenly your eyes get tearing if you really know the meaning of what duha what allah say how powerful it is really your heart your soul will start crying and imagine if you memorize it i memorize it now alhamdulillah i memorize it before i used to check in the mobile and i read it but alhamdulillah blessed to my teacher she let me to memorize it and i memorize it and trust me i see the different in my life what else you want me to talk about it 
uh, if you want to see my Instagram you will know that I follow the people who really I admire the way they worked out the way they pray the way they are closer to Allah a lot of people I don't just follow randomly anyone yes I watch randomly videos or YouTube Instagram for a lot of people as I say either they are Muslim or they are not Muslim or they are any religion I appreciate them I see a lot of people the way hard work they work it to make happy for other people as I say always empower other person other human or other woman or other children from your heart from your soul you don't need to be too much open your mouth and say the entire world oh i'm doing this good for this lady or good for this baby or this for this baby this is between you. a lot of people ask me you stop going in the events and stuff like that and meetings and stuff like that so let's see i am going i'm not doing any more videos nowadays because this is between me and allah whatever the good i do whatever i do bad <laughs> I don't need to be do marketing or publicity what I'm doing good for others. This is only be good with me and my Allah and I have seen the different. If I want to empower other women or help some other woman or other child, it's only between them and me. I don't like the third person to know about it. I don't like to use in the social media and say I'm empowering the other woman or empowering the other children. No. It's only between them and me. I don't like to share their names and I don't like to do any marketing for these things. No more. This is only between me and Allah. Say something that I love to go a place where is old age home because I don't have a parent. When I see them from my heart, you know, it's something happening. I go a lot of places where is abnormal kids. I like to spend time with them, but I don't make videos. I like to spend time with the old people. I don't make videos. Yes, I do videos, but I keep for my personal. When I'm alone at home, I watch them. But I don't use in the social media because I don't like to do good and show the whole world. As Allah say, when you do something good, even your right hand or your left hand should doesn't know about it. What your right hand is doing or what your left hand is doing. So no more videos for these things. If anybody have any issue, genuine issue, do write for me. If I can, I really try my best to help you out. But, but if you send me a message about personal thing and you know dirty talks you write and stuff like that, and you expect me to reply you, sorry, no one in this entire world, even plus my family. If they don't have anything and they send me a message for gossiping or some other things, sorry, I'll never reply. Even my family knows this thing very well. But if they have any issue, I'm just far away from one call. My friend or my family or anybody, if I can, 100% I will do what I will do from my heart. But I don't like to be discussed in social media about this. And I also tell all my videos, I I'm not staying alone. I have a family. But my family life is separate from the social media story. My closer friend, they knows me. They come to my house. They know my family very well. Some of my colleagues, they knows about it. Okay, let's talk about, as I say, my personal life. I never share my personal life. My personal, personal life. I never like in the social media or anywhere my family member, as I say. My family is very big and all my family member, either they are kid or big, everybody have their own account, everybody have their own mobile. I don't like to share with them, with my social media or, you know, like any group. Everybody have their own privacy. Everybody have their own life. Okay. So please make sure when you write any message, I'm not single staying alone in an apartment or something i'm staying in a house alhamdulillah allah has blessed me a very big house a very big huge family as i say i have seven brother and three sister my parents have passed away my mom 
My father passed away when I was small and my mother passed away also not very recently, a long time back. So I don't have a parent. But Alhamdulillah, whenever I feel them or I miss them, I go to the old age home. When I hug them, I feel so peace of mind and like, you know, I'm complete. And I'm so busy, never have time. And if I have time, I love to sleep. And even if I'm tired from the sleep or something, sometimes I watch movies. I never shy to say that. Yes, I watch, but I make sure what type of movie I'm watching. I love comedy movie or I like a very action spy movie or, you know, crime movies. I like that. This related to my work. So I like that comedy because I love to laugh a lot. So I watch that. Other than that, I don't believe in romantic movie or some stupid movies. I don't watch. Okay, I don't know this video Muslims or other nationality also going to watch it. So, this called Masba or Tasbih, whatever you say, it's like 100, okay, 100 beats. And also I have a smaller one, okay, this I bought from Medina, okay, and it's a real stone. This always in my hand when I'm driving or I'm out, it's always in my bag. This always in my prayer mat. Also, I have a musbah of 200, 500. So, up to you what you want to pray at. Okay. I cannot say I have no idea about other religion. But if other religion people watching this video, you might... Okay. I have no idea other religion what they read or what they pray at but must be in their religion also i have a best friend uh, she's not muslim and she told me also they have rudrash and they read on rudrash also my younger time my school time i have a teacher she was british and she was catholic christian and also she have like a masba type you know beads she always wear in her neck it's like having a crop and she always used to read it, I remember. And whenever I ask, she say I'm reading prayer, but I never ask her deeply what exactly prayer she's reading it. Whatever religion you are, pray and see the difference in your life. Peace you will only get when your soul is clean and you're praying all the time. Five minutes. Prayer means Allah don't tell you like you have to wear full hijab or 24 7 you have to pray but allah say yes it is important as a muslim you have to do hijab as a muslim you should pray five times you should read quran you should go umrah this is all first thing you should fast fasting is only not for ramadan even you can fast whole year once in a week twice a week mostly people fast and monday and thursday some people fast thursday and friday depend depend on you and hijab also as i say before yes it is important but some people they don't do hijab but they pray on five times their heart is clean their soul is clean so don't compare the people who do hijab and who don't do hijab oh she don't do hijab and she's not good muslim no it's not like that you don't know their lifestyle First thing, very important thing in life, stop judging other person. She's not doing hijab, she's wearing short dress. She's not a perfect Muslim and Allah is angry with you. This is between her and Allah. Why you are judging them? You do your good. Whatever they do, maybe Allah don't want them to do proper hijab right now. Maybe one day will come. They realize what mistake they are doing it and they will cover themselves but remember one thing very important for everybody who do hijab remove it second day they are in a short then third day they do hijab then fourth day they talk about allah and then the fifth day they are again in a short this is not the lifestyle allah wanted as i see in my last video many time if you see in my instagram many time huh i'm not saying one day or one time always my hair was showing 
sometime you will see me full cover but sometime you see my hair this is the only thing other than that i never wear any cloth which is revealing but only my issue is my hair sometime i do hijab and sometime you know like i don't know maybe shaitan maybe i forget my way i'm a human i say i do mistake i never say i'm 100% perfect but then next moment i realize that i do mistake and i'm trying my best and i'm asking allah every second of my life allah please let me cover my full hair don't let me to do repeat my mistake again but i'm human